I was watching YouTube last night and the video that I watched that inspired me to, to do this video now was a mock job interview. The interviewer produced this sort of contrived problem that could be solved with code and the interviewee needed to write the necessary code to solve this problem and in addition to writing the code the interviewee would need to talk out the solution um, and that made me think I actually did solve these um, Apex let me start over I, I received these badges last year and as I was going through them I remember thinking no one has any idea if I really know how to do these uh, I just solved the problem you, you could probably solve these problems by finding the answers somewhere or just hacking through it you don't really know if that person has any experience or not so that made me think let me try this I'll actually give it a shot I'll um, record myself and walk through these um, uh, like I said I did these last year and I don't recall learning anything that that stuck out uh, I, I'm, I'm already uh, a developer and I was literally getting the badges for the gamification of it I just wanted to kind of get the badges and see the lights flash etc so um, these will essentially be new to me um, at least as new as they were before and the reason I like this is whoever's watching and similar to that that interview that interviewer asking the interviewee to answer this problem to solve this problem via code um, you can actually uh, glean just by listening and watching um, information about that person's experience as that person is talking you through the sort of the thought process of how to architect and, and solve this solution I'm sorry solve this problem through code so I thought that'd be pretty fun I'm gonna give that a shot so I'm gonna solve all of these again I, I think this is the order triggers testing asynchronous and integration I really can't remember uh, if it matters it, it shouldn't but I'm just gonna go through go through these I'm pretty sure apex triggers is first so I'm gonna do that I actually have that one already set up and ready to go um, and the way I solved these before was uh, I, I had assumed that I didn't need to read these and I just went ahead and jumped into the challenge and, and solved it. So I spun up a brand new um, trailhead playground for these because I'm sure one of those playgrounds had the answers in there already. So I'm just going to start over and just sort of talk through these and let's see how this goes. So I'm going to launch the first one which is getting started with apex triggers so let's jump in and start this oh and I guess we do well let's launch this and I think we also have to kind of read this um, so we're going to create a trigger for account that matches shipping address postal code with billing address postal code based on a custom field okay do not remember this at all I almost don't even remember what that what does that even mean that's <laughs> that's where I am my goodness okay so let's get let's get into this and I actually don't have lightning experience so we're gonna come back to classic just in case it makes me do something add field etc and I'm gonna pull this out I don't like that it's making me do that there we go all right so here's the question so I need to make let's actually just start this off uh, I need to make a trigger called um, account address trigger so let's do that go out into the developer console and I probably don't need this at the moment and we're going to make a brand new trigger and I think this is going to be on account 
create an Apex trigger for account. So that's what we'll do. Oh, let me. And they gave me the name as well. And I'm a huge fan of copy paste, especially you might mess something up. You might miss a, a letter. I, I wouldn't get an error if I just named something wrong, but it, it, it definitely wouldn't. It would say I wouldn't. I didn't pass if if the test can't actually find this. Um, this trigger name, and I I do that in in everything. If if there's a um, if there's already a a name for something like a field or an object, uh, I don't just type it. I, I find it and I copy it and paste it because that's caused me too much grief in the past. It it just it's so much easier to just copy paste it than than try to type it, get it wrong, your, let your fingers fail you, and then try to solve a a, a, a bug try to resolve some bug simply because you just named something wrong. Okay. The account object will need a new custom checkbox that should have the field label. Okay, so we need to make a brand new checkbox custom field on account called match billing address. So let's bring this back over and let's go into account and let's uh, add a field and I think it said checkbox so we're going to add a brand new field of type checkbox as you saw me earlier I, I copy and pasted that I'm going to sort of assume this needs to be unchecked but let's let's look at it again unchecked makes sense um, doesn't seem to matter at least not in here Oh, and also a field name. Oh, and field name match billing address. Okay, which we do have. The resulting API name should be okay, which we do have. All right, and then with the account, with the account address trigger active, if if an account has a billing postal code, and match billing address is true, the record should have the shipping postal code set to match. Okay. So. We have the new fields. Um, none of this should matter for this. Uh, who can actually see it? Go through next. The the field. I'm sorry. The uh, page layouts. None of, none of that should matter either for this. Go ahead and hit save. And let's bring back over our our logic here. Our trigger. And it said, and let me bring this back over. If an account has a billing co postal code and match billing address is true, so let's actually just kind of write that up. So it doesn't say anything about the context. You know, in, uh, as in insert, update, etc. I'll just I'm just gonna go with insert and let's loop through account the account. Excuse me. So that'll be all of our accounts, and where is it? Okay, if it has a Billing postal code, so I need that actual field. Let's get billing postal code. Which is probably. has a billing postal code and match billing address is checked. Well, I can at least add our address. If address and 
and we could do it uh, it's a checkbox so if this checkbox is checked that's true so I could leave it like that um, you could potentially add it like that there's there's more words here and maybe it's more user friendly to the next um, is this error? maybe that's more user friendly to the next person coming in but uh, personally my my style is that if it is a checkbox that will evaluate the true oh if there is if it is an actual checkbox that will evaluate to true I'm sorry if it is a checkbox it'll only be true or false I like to just do that I in my my opinion my, my preference is to just do that all right let's find this other situation here or solve this other situation um, if an account has a billing postal code and we don't have that actual field on here so the way I would solve that and I don't see it it's got to be in the address so let's go to um, let's actually look at the form Any in here? There are excellent. Let's see if billing postal code is in here. Your address. There we go. Billing postal code. So that field must actually exist. So let's come out to the account object and look at it. That field must be out there. Objects. Account. There we go. Billing postal code. And again, I, I'm a huge fan of copy and paste, so I'll get that. So copy and whoops. This is our coding environment. Did I close it? I lost my coding environment somehow. Well, I lost the developer console somehow. That's all that did it. It probably saved some of it. Let's see. All right, it did. So if and um, I'm actually looping through all the accounts that come in. Um, this is bulkified code, I think is the term. As we're looping through all of the accounts that got that just got inserted. Um, I'm looking at a specific account. Um, I think it's uh, if it has a billing postal code. So um, I, I believe that's is blank. And I was actually just writing formulas. Uh, let's actually look that up. Salesforce. Um, Apex, and I think it's and it's probably going to be a string. Uh, you know what? It might be a string um, static method. I could have just went to that. think it's static is blank there we go so I think it's string dot yeah okay so it's just string dot is blank and then the value the field okay so that would return true if it's blank but we don't want it to be blank so 
reverse it. So if we do have a billing postal code and we checked the billing address, do something. Let's go back to that do something. Keep that reference open for now. Um, if an account has a billing postal code, so that, that means this field's not blank, and we check the match billing address, then the record should have the shipping postal code set to match. Oh, on insert or update. Nice. Okay. So on insert or update, or update, and then what we're trying to do is actually set the, let's see if it just gives us the field it does good, oh, shipping, shipping postal code. the before um, we don't have to actually do any uh, updates this is going to do it itself I think this is the answer um, like we got to turn them in okay check so I think that's it we're gonna hit check and see how we do So we did it. Uh, hopefully this uh, will work out. I'm going to do my best to try to post at least one of these each day and just get through them.